Hey everybody, this is Mr. V and this is Apes Review Video Topic 8.14, which is on pollution and human health. So when we're talking about pollution, you know, we've been mentioning about how it can be in the environment. We talked about in Unit 7, how it can end up in the air, and this has been about how it ends up in the ground and the water. Well, we need to talk about also diseases and how those can be, um, those chemicals and pollutants can expose us to certain things, right? So when we talk about this, here's an example of a couple, right? So dysentery is a disease that can be spread um, through untreated sewage and um, in streams um, and anything with drinking water that's available to us. So that's one way that the environment can be toxic to us and can lead to an effect in our human health. Another example um, that's pretty common is something called mesothelioma. So this is going to be where you're exposed to asbestos. So that's going to be um, a flame retardant uh, insulation material that can end up uh, releasing tiny amounts of asbestos fibers into the air, and that can lead to cancer in the lungs. And so that's a problem you have to make sure you think about here as well. So those are examples. You can end up with pollution from the water, from the air, or from materials themselves. And then, of course, remember that ozone itself can lead to respiratory issues and reduce lung function um, in the troposphere. So remember that phrase, ozone is good up high, bad nearby. So good in the stratosphere, bad in the troposphere. So make sure you remember that. And that's what our ozone looks like down here and as well as up there. So here's a couple of links to help you with those. Hopefully that's going to be helpful. And hopefully this has been. Thank you very much.